a lot of people are saying these um, Morse decoder boards you can buy are rubbish. Seems to work okay, and uh, what I'm doing is I've I've got it electrically working okay. It's just I need to finish off the case I'm making, and the case um, I made the top bottom and one thing another, and uh, I've just got to finish off making some ends for this plastic case, and then I was going to try and have a battery inside it, but um, I've given up with that idea. So it's just going to have an external power supply. But it seems to work okay. And I think it cost me about £10 for the actual module. I'm in the garage and um, I'm working on making this box for my Morse decoder and uh, I, I'm using this plastic sheet and this plastic sheet came from my dad's when I was clearing out his garage and I've had loads of it and it was it's used to line showers in my to homes and things like that it's like a few PVC material I make quite a few boxes for different things like um, frequency meter and power supply, signal generator, low pass filter for the 40 meter band, low pass filter for the 20 meter band, switchable low pass filter, switchable antenna and things like that. And um, I've got, you know, making a box, um, trying to save some money and because uh, these metal boxes and things can be quite expensive i've also used this plastic to make th this thing here which is um a multi-band long wire antenna and i just wind the wire around it but say i'm i'm doing this box it can be quite tricky because um i'm not very good with this this stuff i've, I've used it a lot but when you've got connector holes to cut out, you know, it can be a bit tricky. But um, getting there, I've just got to make an end for this now. I was going to build a power supply inside it. But the problem is, um, uh, it gets really complicated then. And then, then if it's got a power supply or it gets warm and then you've got to watch the plastic don't melt. I'm just going to take this cover off and then I'm going to make this end and then I'm going to cut the holes for the power socket. Um, it can have a Morse key on it for practicing Morse, but it's something I am learning, but I'm not going to use this for practicing Morse on. Now this white plastic is not the easiest materials to work with, and the reason why I'm saying that is because the dust, you have to keep vacuuming up, and because it's plastic, it's static, and it sticks to you and it's very very messy and what I'm going to do I'm going to glue that end on now and let that set and while I'm letting that set um, I've got to vacuum up because it is very very messy you're treading in it and it it goes everywhere so that's it I'm going to get um, the glue on it now the next job I've got to do I've got to insert the uh, this is a box, okay, and uh, it's not particularly brilliant, but I've got to insert the electronics inside, which is the decoder board itself, and that's a bit tricky. And then I've got to solder the LED, the tuning LED, but I have to sort of jiggle the board around. It only just goes in 
there we go like that so the square socket it's not the neatest of jobs and uh, yeah I've got to put the four nuts on and then the LED is there which I'll uh, cut off again because um, I want to get this in and then I'll be tidying up the case I think okay that's it back together screws sockets now to try it again it's not the best case I've made because there's a gap there and yeah put some screws on it and uh, put some feet on it I should say and I've got to take the plastic thing off the front which protects the screen and a little bit of mucker there I've got to get off of it but um, yeah I think that will do